For this problem, we're being asked if a vector u is perpendicular or orthogonal to a vector v, which means does it meet at a right angle? Does it meet at a 90 degree angle? Um, and if not, then they want us to actually find the angle that's between those two vectors if it's not 90 degrees. So we can tell if a vector is orthogonal to another vector by taking its dot product and seeing if we get zero. Now if it's not zero, we still have some work to do. So let's do that first. So we'll take u dot v, and we should be pretty comfortable with this by now. We know we're going to multiply the ith components and multiply the jth components and then add them together. So five times four is 20, and negative seven times two is negative 14. And when we add these, we get six. Now, one thing I want to stress, which is very, very important to remember, when you take the dot product of two vectors, your answer is a scalar. Notice we did not say 20i minus 14j or anything like that. The dot product doesn't have i's and j's in it. You're just taking the 5 and the 4 and the negative 7 and the 2 and whatnot, and you're getting a scalar of 6. Now, that's kind of disappointing that we get 6. It's not 0 which means that they're not orthogonal. This means they don't meet at a right angle. So we have to go a step farther and actually find whatever that theta is between the two angles. So to do this, we're gonna use another formula that we're familiar with. It's um, u dot v equals the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle between them. So we're gonna use this formula to find this angle theta right here. So the dot product we've already found, that, that was six. The magnitude of u, um, I'm gonna spare us some algebra just for time's sake. You, you, I would suggest doing this um, on paper yourself, but just to save us some time, I think the magnitude of u is gonna be the square root of 74 and the magnitude of v I think is going to be the square root of 20 times the cosine of theta. So theta should be whatever the arc cosine of 6 divided by these two quantities, the square root of 74 times the square root of 20. So once you divide those two terms over under the 6, then you would take the arc cosine of that. And I'm going through the algebra a little bit quickly here, but um, basically you're just trying to solve for theta. And whatever this quantity is, that would be your answer. So we would get out our calculator and be careful with your parentheses and things like that. Um, for most of these problems, you'll usually want to put your cal calculator in degree mode unless your instructor tells you different. Just because if you're finding the angle between two vectors, most people would uh, understand better, you know, having an angle of 27 degrees better than 1.4 radians or something like that. They understand degrees a little bit better than, than radians, I think. So here the theta, uh, after you compute this, and I went ahead and did this just for time's sake, I got 81 degrees, 81 degrees. Um, if you wanna sketch out U and V, just to see if that, that kinda makes sense and, and seems reasonable, you're welcome to do that. Uh, let's see, five negative seven would be somewhere right about here. And then right four up two would be somewhere right about here. And you can tell this is almost 90 degrees, but just not quite. quite. You, I mean, you can tell that just from a simple sketch. So 81 seems very reasonable. It looks like it's an acute angle. And so we're pretty confident that we have the right answer.